It's uh, 10 minutes to 8. Now, most of us at some point have applied for credit cards, maybe a new couch on interest-free credit, or even the biggie, a mortgage. And at that point, you'll be made aware that your application will be submitted for a credit check. Now, if you've been OK, if you've been good, you've managed to make your payments on time and you don't owe us more fortune, then there shouldn't really be a problem. But if you own your own home, then the chances are even better. But did you know that if you rent a place, no matter how long for, you're likely to be at a disadvantage when it comes to your credit score and even your loan or car insurance could end up being a little bit more. And in the studio with me now is Dave Seat uh, uh, from uh, Carl Tatler Lettings in Wirral. Good to uh, good see you, Dave. Thanks good for morning, being here. Um, tell me why, if you rent, are you being discriminated against? Because it doesn't seem fair, this, does it? No, well, as, as you've just said, uh, if you own your own home, um, you, one of the biggest influences on your credit report is your um, the, mo the way you pay your mortgage, the history of your mortgage. Up until now, um, private renters uh, in the private renter sector, in fact, all, all people who rent uh, have never had their rental uh, payments taken into account. Right. So that has obviously changed recently. We've teamed up with um, one of the biggest uh, rental, uh, the uh, Experian. I know, yeah, the Equifax and Experian, isn't it? Yeah, well, Experian's one of the big three. There's three credit agencies, basically, and Experian's one of the big ones. And we have teamed up with them to obviously move it forward. So what, what happens if I if I have uh, if I'm in a situation where I've paid my rent I've been in a house for or a flat or whatever for four or five years and I've paid me rent and I've paid on time, that makes me a good a good payer, yeah, doesn't it? But yeah. that's never been taken into account when it comes to your credit score before. No not at all. And um, is this the idea that it will be? Yeah yeah I've got you now. Um, you know, moving forward, we're, we're, we're going to be tipping up and giving them the information each month. Yeah. So if you pay well and obviously pay on time, that will go towards your, your credit score. And why has this not, not been done before then? Um, I mean, it's done with the social housing about two years ago. They launched it with the biggest you, biggest you invest and it was um, ran through them. Um, <coughs> sorry, got a, do, you, do you want a little drink? Do you want, <laughs> got something stuck. <laughs> Cat, can you do us a favour? Cat, can you do us a favour? Can you get Dave a drink? He's got something stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your credit score, is it? Not your credit score stuff. Because when I've called up, Dave, I'll yeah. let you catch your breath here. Yeah. When I've called up for maybe a loan or uh, insurance or if, if I wanted a credit card or whatever, it will say, we'll give you an instant decision. And then in some cases, they'll say, uh, we'll, we'll get back in touch. Are they checking your credit score? Of when, course, yeah. When, you, when you need you like uh, an online um, status. You need a footprint that is online. Yeah. And... Um, if you don't have one of those, it's a prima, it's a sort of misconception that if you don't have bad credit, then you'll be okay in the, in the future. But if you don't, yeah. if you don't have any credit at all, here's the squeaky door and a, cup and, a, and, a, and a little water for you as well. So if you don't have any credit, because this happens with some people, some people will say, "I've never had a loan, I've never owed any money, I've never done this, I've never been in debt, and when I've gone to buy a new sofa or a new couch." they won't give me any money. Is that because you haven't got a credit history? Exactly that, yeah. I mean, uh, that's one of, the, one of the biggest things. If you go and buy things like a sofa, um, they're looking for how you've paid things in the past. Yeah. If you have, have not got a footprint online, uh, you might have been brilliant in, in, in everything else you've paid, but if you haven't took out a credit report, right. then you, you basically, you know, you don't exist. With so them. they don't know that, so they're no, not, no. not going to take a chance, they're not going to no, take no. the risk. So, so you know, team, teaming up with yeah. Experian, mm -hmm. Um, with us, it's, it's one of the, you know, we're the first in the North West to actually go with um, the, the, the private agent. Do you think others will follow and do this, do you think? And what's the, what's the advantage from your point of view as well? Well, because, uh, you know, to a landlord, it then breeds uh, good tenants because you will only want uh, a tenant who's got to pay the rent on time. Yeah. You will obviously get the minority, you'll, you'll get the, um, the, the, age, the tenants that don't pay the rent on time. It is a small minority. Yeah. And it can be for, you could lose your job or you, you could course. end up being ill or of something. Of course. You know, yeah. um, but the majority of, of yeah. tenants are good payers. And, and the disadvantage by not getting, on the, on, uh, getting the rental payments on some type of credit report. Um, so this moving forward, and when you look at it, I mean, the private rented sector is, is just short of 19, 20%. So it's 19% of all households in Britain are private rented sectors of four million households. Yeah, and, and wrongly, uh, as a, a lot of people will appreciate, I'm, I'm sure, um, the, the private rented sector, they're all seen as the big bad wolf here. And there are some bad apples, we, we, we know that. Mm. But when we hear stories about the private rented sector, it's almost like, you know, the hooded claw, isn't it? Yeah, and, and, and it really isn't, isn't that way. We're always trying to sort of dispel that mm -hmm. uh, 
myth. Um, there's, as you've said, there's good and bad in everyone. There's good and bad tenants. There's good and bad agents. Um, but you know, a, a good agent is there to do a job and they're there to to put a tenant at ease and put them through the tenancy. Um, um, a lot of private sort of landlords that you will get a reference from, and it's the same with an agent. We will give you a reference at the end of your tenancy um, to say if you paid your rent on time. But some private private landlords don't even ask for for, for a reference. So, so again, it's going to be held rather than a hint. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Dave, we're out of time. But listen, uh, you can take that water with you if you want, mate. Thank you. You're Cheers, all right. Tony. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, it happens to me all the time, but I can press a button and play a little show. <laughs> and see, that's how I get away with it. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. It's